Ladies and gents, before we start this video, I just wanted to give you guys a special message. Thank you all for being loyal subscribers. Thank you guys so much for not forcing me to upload every day. Big apology if I'm not able to upload on a steady basis. Um, I have this cool thing called school and as much as, as cool as it would be, I simply can't make YouTube a full-time job. It's ridiculous at my age. So if you guys can respect that and you can still stay subscribed and loyal, that makes me feel freaking amazing. So thank you for that. What's up ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are loyal subscribers of the channel then you guys know that there are basically two videos that people really really love. It's the Town Hall 11 video and yeah there's a handful of dislikes, nothing much. But to tell the truth, majority of the people actually agreed with my idea on Town Hall 11 which people were like, that's wow that's new, no one's really thought of that yet. And of course, my other video that has 50 features of Clash of Clans which is right around here. If you haven't watched these videos yet, go ahead and watch them. So, what exactly do these videos have in common? Well, first of all, this one's almost at 200,000 views, so that's pretty solid. But anyhow, the 50 features video and this video combined to make the following video that I'm about to show you guys. But before I get to it, I want to talk about one little thing. There's a new idea roaming around the land of Clash of Clans, and it's that there may never be a Town Hall 11. So keep that in mind while watching this video. A lot of people are starting to say that Supercell wanted to end the game at Town Hall 10 and keep adding minor changes to every single Town Hall and slowly but steadily making each Town Hall cooler. So maybe Town Hall 2 will get something cool eventually. And uh, I'm not sure how exactly this is going to work, but that's the thing that's flowing around. Don't leave a dislike, it ain't my idea, it's just something that's been going around forums. At the same time, my actual idea is that Supercell won't release Town Hall, Ten uh, Town Hall 11 for a long while. Maybe a year, maybe two years, maybe five years. And people find that shocking, but I explained it really well in this video in the seven minutes. So feel free to watch that if you want. This video plays a role because I took the best features out of my 50 features of Clash of Clans should have, and I picked 11 of them. I thought if Supercell is gonna release Town Hall 11, why not have 11 features that come along with it? And one of the features is going to be Witch Towers, so I guess I'll just start the video off here. So first of all, I guess the best way to do this video isn't to show you what Clash of Clans looks like now, it's to show you what other people have ideas. So I thought Google Images isn't a bad idea, why not see what people have thought of when it comes to Witch Towers, and then I'll explain my ideas behind them. Okay, this is not what we're looking for. Clash... I can't type. Clash of Clans, okay. Alright, so this is one cool idea. And there's a bunch of them. Oh wow, that's 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 something. Anyhow, so of course this is the main idea. This is the number one picture, and it seems pretty accurate. This looks pretty epic. But I want to tweak this idea just a little bit. You see, it wouldn't make much sense if the witch did what it does normally. Basically, it sends out the cool ball of things, uh, ball of whatever it is, power, and it hits troops. It does absolutely nothing. It's like 20 damage per second. Then of course there's the skeletons right here, and they do. They're a good distraction tool. But, I don't know if distractions are what we need right now. We have enough skeletal troops roaming around the average base. So, what exactly do we need? Well, you see, why not make it sort of an opposite or make it correlate with wizard towers? You see, wizard towers shoot that ball of energy or splash of energy, it's called splash damage, in one direction. Why not have the witch tower shoot it out in a smaller vicinity, but all around her? So, of course, all of a sudden, any troop, say there's a balloon behind her, and there's an archer on her right, and a wizard on her left, all of them will get a small amount of damage, maybe 20 damage per second, but they'll all get damaged anything around her uh, in like a small circle. So I thought that would be a cool idea when it comes to the witch tower. I don't want her, uh, lightning would be cool too, maybe it just shocks all troops from all directions, but that's a big overall idea. But I don't want it to have anything to do with the skeletons, I don't want her to just chuck balls at people or anything along those lines because that wouldn't make much sense. But yeah, that's what it would be. Oh look, this circle right here. That, that would be how far she can shoot her ball of things. So that would be pretty cool as well. And maybe that will pop up in Town Hall 11 as you can see this guy decided to make that epic thumbnail. Okay, the next idea on the list is of course a fourth wizard tower. I know this is completely random. 
But you see guys, we have three wizard towers and it's kind of tough to balance them out. But why not have a fourth wizard tower for Town Hall 11? Okay, so why exactly do I want a fourth wizard tower? You see, I feel like it won't lead to a lot of imbalance. If you add another mortar, there's gonna be a big problem. Town Hall 10s will be ticked off. If you add another inferno, Town Hall 10s are gonna be ticked off, and Town Hall 9s are gonna cry, Town Hall 8s are gonna weep in despair. So, of course, if you add some wizard towers, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. It's just a little bit more splash damage here and there. If you add witch towers, once again, it doesn't make that much difference. Place it in the middle of your base or something, and uh, it can do damage, but it's not gonna make a lot of difference. It's not gonna lead to imbalance or anything along those lines, which is why I say a fourth wizard tower is literally the best kind of troop. I mean, I, we don't want another archer tower. We don't want anything along those lines. That's the best way to go about doing it. Witch tower number one, and of course, fourth wizard, uh, wizard, whatever it's called, <laughs> number two. Number three on our list has to do with wizards as well. I guess witches and wizards are the big theme of Town Hall 11 when it comes to me, at least the beginning half of this video. Well, not, the master wizard is something that's been going around uh, forums for a little bit now, and people have thought of the most amazing ideas when it comes to what this new hero should be able to do, what upgrades it should have, what type of special abilities, and how many levels it should go up to. And people think this thing will, it's its like a third hero, is it really necessary? How is it gonna work? Well, won't it be super imbalanced when it comes to attacks? And I thought we need the master wizard to basically go along with by itself. That's the way I wanna do it. So basically you can pick the master wizard or you can pick your archer queen and barbarian king. All of a sudden it'll balance things out. Now why exactly is that the way it works? Well you see the barbarian king hacks and it sends out a lot of damage, right? And then the Archer Queen can't take a lot of damage, but it shoots at a distance and it does a lot of damage. The Wizard, the Master Wizard is gonna have sort of the nice mix of both. So the compromise is gonna work itself out. All of a sudden, this guy can shoot at a range. He can't take a lot of damage, but once again, he can do a lot of damage. And it sort of combines the two heroes, the Archer Queen and the Barbarian King, into one sort of awesome hero. And I guess it'll be really cool and a lot of people will use it when it does come up. Once again, when it uh, comes to levels, I guess we should have it go up to level 40 since that makes sense. I'm not sure what its special ability is going to be. There's a trillion ideas. Some people say mini wizard should pop up. Other people say it should just take a lot more damage. Other people say it should really reheal. I think it should sort of take the witch's ability. This is where things get interesting when it comes to ideas. I love doing this, combining ideas and making them flow. So as you guys can see, I talked about the witch tower, how it should spread out energy in all directions. What if that was a special ability for the wizard, uh, the master wizard? I, apparently I can't put the word master in front of wizard. I'm so used to saying wizard. But anyhow, as soon as you click the special ability, uh, he starts shooting all around him. Uh, some force field just like erupts and it takes out a handful of things around him, maybe a builder's hut, something along those lines. It could be a cool way to end the battle and not get the 49% without having to waste a lightning spell or something along those lines. So that was my idea when it comes to Master Wizard. If you guys don't like it, then I don't know, guys. It's a really cool idea if you ask me. I wonder if anyone's thought of it, Master Wizard. I should have done this search a little bit back. And not exactly. Whoa, uh, that, that looks interesting. But yeah, no one's really photoshopped the heck out of it. Maybe I'll actually make a Master Wizard and put him in the thumbnail. I like photoshopping that stuff. But yet, for the time being, or maybe I'll put this guy in the thumbnail. Is that a pillow pet? Yo, guys, they have they have Clash of Clans pillow pets now. Holy shoot, I'm buying this. Okay, um, let me pause the video for a second and purchase that. All right, guys, so um, I definitely just bought that. Anyhow, number four on our list is known as a revive spell. It was originally supposed to be something that I wanted in the October update that was a long while back, but that never ended up happening. The revive spell is a really, really tiny spell. It actually is so tiny that it's tinier than the dark spells. It's probably, if you were to compare it in real life, about this big if my mouse makes any sense. And the heal spell is about that big. Why is it that small? Because you can place this spell onto tombstones about of any troop, but of course you can only place it onto a handful of troops, uh, tr uh, tombstones, and these troops will come back to life with a certain amount of health. A P.E.K.K.A will have a certain amount of health, and of course an archer will probably have full health, things along those lines, but say you are about to get the town hall, and your P.E.K.K.A dies. 
all of a sudden you can put the spell down and you can get the town hall last minute. It's an interesting idea and uh, I thought it would be cool. This is just a random image, it has nothing to do with it. This is known as a miss spell, I've never even heard of it. But anyhow, if the spell factory is upgraded for town hall 11, then it should definitely have a revive spell. I think that would be really cool. In a sense, it could be a dark spell as well, but who cares, a spell is a spell in the end. So let's see how that works out. Something that they had to do for Town Hall 10 is, of course, increasing the base layout. The base layout, uh, I wonder if I can find this, Clash of Clans Original, base layout. And, okay, so these are just stupid bases, but my point is, when they originally had Clash of Clans, the base, the overall base size, like the amount of space, base that before you reach trees and can't place anything down it was much smaller and as soon as town hall 10 came out they had to increase this base size so wouldn't it be cool if they increased base size for everyone all of a sudden you had more space to make your base and uh, that rhymes and of course you can place things on the sides trolling bases would be a lot more fun it's just a cooler way to view clash of clans but who knows if they're gonna end up doing that i'm gonna assume they will if they end up adding a lot more things than just a witch tower but if they do just end up adding a witch tower it might not be necessary so let's see how that works out that's just something they did in town hall 10 i'm simply gonna assume they're gonna do it for town hall 11 as well because even if they don't come out with a bunch of new uh, I don't know, buildings in the first place, they will eventually release things. The updates must go on. So let's see how that works out. Okay, so number six is of course the unifying theme. This is kind of random, but if you guys search up maxed bases, I'm gonna show you guys that each town hall has its own sort of color. So as you guys can see, rumor has it that the color for town hall 11 is gonna be blue and it's gonna be sort of the lightning effect of everything. And the color for Town Hall 9, you can't really see it in this because this guy's obviously not a max base, is black. And red goes for Town Hall 11. I'm sure you guys see what I'm going at right now when it comes to Town Hall 10. And Town Hall 12 will probably be, I have no clue, probably hot pink or something. But as you can see, there's another one. Purple is the overall theme for Town Hall 8 and brown, I guess. And what else can I show you guys? Any other maxed bases? I want to show you guys Town Hall 7. Actually, brown must be for Town Hall 8, and purple must be for Town Hall 7. That makes a lot more sense, since you get your Dark Elixir and all that at Town Hall 7. So as you can see, that's pretty solid, and everything has that overall theme. Now this is a random idea. This is not something that they're going to have to put in there. This is something that I just like because it makes everything sort of flow well together. If the walls match the town hall in a little bit, and the witch tower looks kind of like the walls, and the walls kind of looks like the new mortars, everything sort of flows. It looks cool. And that's why unifying theme is such a big idea that it's number six on the list. Okay, stuff's about to get real. We're about to talk about a new dark troop for number seven will basically be something that can go underground. Now this is, wow, if this actually ends up happening, it's something. Um, some of these ideas are really stupid. As you can see, a Yeti, that's not gonna happen ever. Unicorn, what the heck? Why does that even exist? <laughs> why, why did someone take the time to actually make that? Spider, that's reasonable, but it doesn't work with the theme. But I was looking through these and I was looking through forums when I thought of something that goes underground and I was like no way this exists in Google Images but it does someone actually photoshopped a giant worm and as you can see this idea makes sense what if you could place um, basically you tap on a building and the giant worm goes after that building but it digs a hole underground so it doesn't take damage until it reaches that building is that way too OP? Yes, indeed it is. But that's why it's up to Supercell to make it balance out. I have no clue how they're gonna make it balance out, but I'm sure they'll have some new trap or something along those lines that prevents this thing from getting far and dying before it gets in. But say it does get in and you aim it for something like an archer tower or an air defense, this could be something. The person who photoshopped this obviously has no clue what they're doing, um, noticing the font and all that, but to tell the truth, the idea is there. I'm not sure if we should call it a giant worm. Feel free to leave your ideas on what we should call it in the comments below, but it would be really cool. Something that goes underground. That's the big idea for a new dark troop. And number eight, new abilities for the heroes. So as you guys can see, the heroes currently have only one ability, and as soon as you reach a level 10, I believe, or five, yeah, it's level five. As soon as you reach that, you get your Archer Queen ability, your hero ability, and it's really cool. But what if you could have a new ability if you went past a certain level or if you just 
upgraded abilities. So all of a sudden, maybe instead of, you could like choose your ability, instead of barbarians popping out, you could have your barbarian maybe do like, I don't know, aim for something. Maybe you could have it aim its last breath at a single building and have a giant amount of force go towards one building. Maybe the town hall has a little bit of health left. Instead of the Barbarian King hacking away at a wall as you use its special ability up, that's kind of sad. And it's a new type of rage, but the idea is that heroes should get new abilities as you upgrade them. And maybe it'll lead to imbalance. Maybe that's why Supercell will never do it. But it would be cool if it came out for Town Hall 11 and with a new wizard, Master Wizard, let's see how that works out. Number 9 on our list is the active button. This is a feature that should come out in Clash of Clans, period. It should not, some not be something that we have to wait till Town Hall 11 for. The active button basically is a cool little green dot as uh, that allows all the other Clashers online to know when a certain individual is online, even if he or she is not chatting. Why is this relevant? Well, all of a sudden, it can tell the reader that someone is active and should be in war, and then you can sort of say their name in chat and they'll potentially reply. But the issue comes around that people kind of don't like that, because people like to troll, and so when someone's inviting someone back, it's really hard to tell who's doing it, but with an active button, all of a sudden you can narrow it down since you can see exactly who's online at that moment, and you could be like, yeah, you, you, and you, or we're online, so you're getting kicked when you had to troll or whatever the heck. So that's why an active button would be a really cool idea. Finally, we got ourselves number 10. This is an, a really controversial idea. In order to maintain balance, I think I've said the word balance about 600 times, but that's basically what the game runs on. So as you can see, in order to maintain it, we would need to make sure that these Town Hall 11s don't farm too low, because they would completely destroy sub 200 or even Bronze League or things along those lines if they were to farm down there. And in some cases, even if they were to go down to say Crystal or Gold, they could cause a lot of problems. So what if we made them stuck? What if we made it so you have to reach a certain league in order to upgrade to Town Hall uh, 11? Now you see, back in the day, it's really easy to snipe Town Halls and get to this. But what if we can only? We, what if we were to make it so not everyone can simply gem their Town Hall to Town Hall 11? What if you have to reach Titans League before doing it? What then? All of a sudden, you have the really hardcore clashers doing this, and all of a sudden, it increases competition in. Titans League as well because all of a sudden everyone is a Town Hall 11 and that leads to balance. And what if we made it so only these people who upgrade to Town Hall 11 can no longer go down to bronze and things along those lines. The second part of that idea I feel like we probably shouldn't do it take a lot of people off because a lot of people do like farming and sub 200 and so on and so forth. But at the same time, wouldn't that really increase when uh, pushing competition? All of a sudden, every Town Hall 10 would want to upgrade to Town Hall 11 so they could get the Witch Towers and stuff and be at, well, the advantage. That way they could push to number one. Someday. So, that's something that I thought about, and Titans League is not easy to get into, so that would potentially prevent people from gemming their Town Hall and basically screwing it up for everyone when it comes to balance. And Supercell, if you're watching this, maybe you should do that. Maybe just maybe. Finally, we're going to move on to the last number which is number 11 itself and this idea is that so the last idea on the list flows with what i said way back when and this is a just in case just in case supercell never does end up releasing town hall 11 if they do then i'm still right feel free to look at the last 10 ideas but if they don't then in this case i want to be right when it comes to the last and final idea if they never release town hall 11 then I want all these ideas to go into Town Hall 10 because a Witch Tower will still be cool, a new uh, Wizard Tower will still be cool, an increased base size would also be cool, and so would a Master Wizard. We don't need a cool Town Hall for this. Why not slowly get these updates? Why not have it so in each update one of these ideas pops up? Wouldn't that be interesting? So that's what I'm going to leave you guys to ponder about. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. A lot of research went into it, and believe it or not, some of these ideas I did think of, and others I did not. However, I take no credit for any of them at all. If you found a new idea, feel free to make a new forum. Maybe I'll find it, and I'll reply and start the discussion a lot more, and maybe even give it a shout-out. So guys, leave a comment below with your ideas. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me, logging off.